Hey everybody, I'm exhausted. I spent a day, two days now working on a uh, new bench. Um, this was where my old bench was. I have now sh uh, lowered it and put this uh, grow tent in here and I'm going to put in three large scale printers in here and uh, hopefully keep them warm during the winter and then during the summer open it up and have it uh, be breezy enough that it can uh, they don't overheat during the summer but this is my solution for working in the garage during the winter <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so tired <laughs> now you're probably wondering how the heck is he going to see anything in this cave it's so dark what am i oh oh <laughs> <laughs> Let there be light. <laughs> I put LED lights in it. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, buddy. Next, I'm going to install the printers. Don't mind the mess. I haven't cleaned up yet. But I got a little window. <laughs> it's a cute little window. How big this thing is, though. Hope it works. Well, so far, so good. I got two of them in here. Uh, I've got a third one ordered. That's going to go right in the center here. So right now I'm printing a new bracket to mount the filament up here. Uh, I was originally going to mount the filament in, uh, like I was running it earlier, where it was mounted up in the cabinets above. Um, but. I didn't think it through and the, um, the 40 by 40 by 80 size um, tent that I ordered is a little hard to get around to get up into the cabinet. So I assume I won't be doing that, <laughs> but uh, you know, it seems to be working. I mean, I've got these up there, that one, that one right now is right here, but I, I don't like where the filament holder is on the anti-cubic. So, um, so that's why I'm moving it, but and then I'm also making um, a desiccant pack box. It's uh, going to be a box that's going to that's gonna hold. Um, I'm going to basically break up a bunch of these desiccant packs that I've got. Um, years ago, I used to work for a family business where we sold workwear. And um, in a lot of the boxes we received, we'd get these gigantic desiccant packets. And so I saved a bunch of them. So I'm going to make a desiccant pack box and uh, I'm gonna use that to keep the moisture out of the cabinet when the temperature drops. So that was something somebody mentioned to me and it was a great idea that uh, I didn't even think about was the moisture buildup that could happen with it being cold out and warm in there. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna put a desiccant pack box in here. Um, I'll use the filament dryers when they're not drying filament to dry the desiccant packs uh, in between just periodically basically and um, switch it out. So that's kind of, I've, I've used them in the past for drying desiccant packs and it seems to be working well. But um, yeah, so far so good with uh, using this thing out here in the garage. It's, uh, I got a big mess to clean up because I, I tore apart my garage to, to set this up. But you know, I had to cut my bench down quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, I cut my bench down a lot. Um, it was, yeah, that was, that was a fun experience. Um, I built it and honestly it is now super sturdy. Like it was sturdy before, but after taking it apart, I was like, we're going to make this sucker sturdy. <laughs> um, before I did build the cabinets, this, uh, display, I had, um, tried bolting the printers down to the workbench. Um, I actually like that idea better. I, I think it did make it a little bit, I think it helped the shaking of the printer a little bit, but um, honestly, I, I don't feel like drilling holes in this new brand new tent um, to put, you know, printers on and, you know, bolt printers down. So I'm probably not going to do that right now, but um, you know, so far so good. It's, they're printing good. The, um, you know, it's staying warm in here when I have the, this cover off. Right now there's a cover that I can just flap open, flap close. Uh, technically there's one up there too. So during the summer when it heats up and I don't want these things overheating, I'm just gonna open this up and then I'm gonna open this big one up and we should be good. So 
I mean, I could probably put a fan system in here. You know, it's a grow tent, so it's technically designed for fans and, and air filtration and that sort of thing. So um, I have a, I actually have a second one of these that I bought uh, uh, about a year ago, and it's going to be a paint booth. So um, I'll try to post that up once I get everything built. It'll be going in the corner back there where all that junk is. So I'm going to build a basically an indoor paint booth for my garage. Um, you know, it's like a 60 by 40 by 80, I think. It's um, not huge, but it'll be big enough to walk inside, keep everything clean, you know, dust-free, which is actually going to be a great ver great reason for this. Um, I do sand in the garage as well, so any I do get dust and particles and stuff, and I really don't want that on my brand-new printers. So I'm really looking forward to, to having the enclosure to keep them clean as well. So... Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you watched my video, I also added spacers, uh, changed up my Elegoo Neptune 4 Max to have um, little, uh, I want to say the Teflon spacers. Uh, I'm just trying something different today. I wanted I wanted to see if I could eliminate springs and, and the bushings all together and, and just go straight to something like a hard, a hard base. Um, this one is a hard, it's basically uh, a build plate bolted to the bracket system and um all you have to do is level the bed you hit auto level and it auto levels and you don't have to mess with any of the knobs and any of that garbage so i kind of wanted to recreate that same concept on the elegu and um so that's what i did i ordered all the pieces and i made it i made a video about it um, i didn't go into depth on installing it but if all goes well and this works for me i'm, I'm kind of testing it right now um, if this goes well, then I will make a video on how to install them and what all pieces you'll need. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, happy printing, everybody.